If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I really love Notion. And I think it's a great tool to use for pretty much any productivity uh, purpose. And in this video, I want to show you why it can also replace text editors like Microsoft Word and Google Docs if you don't have to have like this fancy extra functionality. I want to show you all of its capabilities in this context. So yeah, stay tuned and let me show you how easy it is to write articles or documents and notes inside of Notion. To do this, I want to show you how we could, for example, write an article on Notion inside of Notion and what we could use to make it really appealing. Uh, so the first are the most basic billing blocks and you probably already are familiar with them if you have been using Notion already. First of all, we have the headings. So we have the H1, we'll just type it out, heading one. We have the H2, which is the heading two. And we also have the H3, which is the heading three. These are the basic headings and uh, you can use them to structure your content. Next up, we all obviously have just the basic text. So this is just basic text. We also have the uh, numbered and bulleted lists available to us. So we'll just type in a bulleted list and this will appear right here. Um, bullet list item. And then we go into a new line and we'll say numbered list and we'll say list item hashtag one. All right, so these are the most basic building blocks in Notion. And um, yeah, I, I think that you will probably be, will already be familiar with them. Um, these are just the absolute basics. Now to enhance the experience with these, we can also add in some different styles to them. So for example, we could, if we highlight this, we have all of these options available to us. First of all, we can link this text. So we could just say Google, oops, google.com, just kind of link to web page. And now you see this will be underlined and it will be linking to the Google website. If we highlight it again um, and we just remove this link because we don't need it anymore, we can also comment on this text. So uh, you, could, you could use Control Shift M or you can just click on this comment option and then it will be highlighted in yellow and we could say this is a comment. So this is really, really useful if you're like writing an article, for example, or you're working in a team and you want somebody else to re review your work. They can just go in here and add all these comments and then you'll see the highlights and you can check them out and then you can um, reiterate on your text so you can improve it uh, and so on. And as you see, this will appear right here in the corner. If you click on that, you'll see this comment. Next up, we can also, we'll just write in a new, this is text new line and then we can see we can also turn this bold like this we can italicize it we can underline it we can do a strike through and now we come to the more advanced and pretty nice options in uh, notion so these are all the basics but now we can also mark this as code and this will actually turn the text into this box red content which makes it easy to highlight for example code snippets inside of our text if we're writing some documentation um, then this is really really helpful next we can also turn the text directly into a formula so uh, if we oh, sorry an equation uh, if we click on this button right here we can directly change it to an equation and then this turns this into an equation block, uh, which is great for mathematical uh, documentation. I have a full video on that as well. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to learn more about uh, formulas, equations and uh, symbols and the LaTeX library in Notion. But yeah, I won't go into much detail here. So check that out if you're interested. All right, let's click done and let's go back into a new text. So this is the next one. And now we can also add in things like text color. So we could put in a background text color like uh, down here and we can also uh, color the text directly. So we could turn it into a purple and then you see on my screen, this isn't that good, but uh, this is now purple. And also if we click on it again, we can also add in a background. So let's say a yellow background 
uh, and now you see this is also added in. Now that we have the pretty basic formatting options out of the way, uh, let's actually get into how you could write your uh, essay or your article in Notion and some of the additional features that Notion offers that make this so powerful. Uh, first of all, we have the Web Clipper and this is a great tool for researching for your article, for example, or your uh, video outline. And what you can do is you can just go to websites and then you can directly add the content of the website into Notion. Uh, you can add in the links and so on and make it uh, look really, really nice. So uh, I've got these uh, links on Notion uh, open. I'll actually open this up like this and um, I'll collapse this down here. <laughs> All of these pop-ups, um, just annoying. All right, so this is a article from the New York Times on Notion, on the makers of Notion and let's say we want to, to write an article on Notion, uh, then we could actually, uh, first of all, we could copy this link and then go back to, into our Notion, um, in into our Notion page and then paste it in here. And we could create an embed or we could also create a bookmark. And I'll show you how this uh, differs. So let's create a bookmark. And then what will uh, happen is it will create like this nice little box uh, that actually previews the content of the page. So this is something that looks really, really appealing and really nice. And you can use that to uh, collect content for your article or for the thing that you're writing in Notion. What we could also do is directly add the page to our Notion page uh, using the Web Clipper. So going up here, clicking on the Notion Web Clipper, I'll choose the workspace I'm currently in. So this uh, workspace showcase and then I will be adding this to the page Notion as a text editor it's right here. Click on that and you can uh, see this is the page we're adding. Click save page and now if we, whoops, if we actually go back to our Notion as a text editor, you see it actually added the link to our page. And we can do this with multiple sites. So uh, now that we have the first site, let's say we want to go to this, uh, to this Notion About page and we'll say, oh, this is also interesting. We'll keep that for future reference. Then just go up here again. And now this will automatically be chosen, save page. And if we go back, you see this also gets added in. And now let's say that we have the content for our article ready and we now want to enrich the article and make it look great. And this is also really easy in Notion, so let me show you how it works. Uh, first of all, I want to add a table of contents to the top of my article. Uh, so we can just type in table of contents, add this in. And now what this does is it actually just checks the page for all of the headings. So H3, uh, H2 and H1, uh, this way around. And uh, it pretty much just uh, creates these clickable links to these headings. So now if we like adding more links down the bottom, let's say we have a H2 uh, notions story, say uh, the, let's add another one that says uh, the mission of Notion and uh, let's say add one more, let's say um, new upcoming features. And now you see these get added as the uh, headings up here. And if we are up top of the page, we can just click on this, the mission of Notion and it will take you uh, down to the actual heading that will highlight it so you can easily uh, see where you're at on the page. And uh, although if you, for example, want to print that out or uh, add it to a, a PDF, it won't be clickable anymore. Uh, you will still have this nice kind of structure and outline of your presentation of your article um, that you can use in, uh, in many ways and that just helps out your uh, reader. Next, we have two more uh, nice blocks that Notion offers that make your articles look nicer. Uh, first of all, we have callout. So type in slash callout. And this pretty much just generates a box with a little icon at the front and then uh, a background color. 
Uh, again, it, my PC doesn't really display this correctly, uh, so um, you might not be actually able to see the background, but it does have a background color. You can just try it out and then you can add in your information in here, uh, information like this. And this is really nice for like these uh, little notices or um, just additional tips, extra uh, information bits into your article uh, to just make them look much more appealing. And next up we have the quote. And this is uh, just a bigger block with uh, large text and this little uh, black dash in the front of it. And then we can just write in a quote from whoever uh, Notion is great, for example. <laughs> I don't have anything else in my mind right now. Um, so this is my quote. Uh, and yeah, this uh, is just another w nice way to make your article or your text in Notion stand a little bit more. Now for more technical people, or for example, for technical documentation, you can use the code block, which is just really a block of code. You can choose the language that you want to use. So uh, yeah, you get the point. It actually highlights the code in a certain way, depending on the, the language you choose. And uh, this is great for technical documentation. Also, uh, something that's great is the math uh, block equation. Uh, so yeah, this also is great if you, for example, want to uh, take notes on your math homework. Um, again, as I mentioned, I'll leave a link to the full video on math equations and all of the symbols uh, in the description down below. Now, obviously, you can also add in images to your uh, text. So you can just click, uh, search for image. And then you can, for example, take one from Unsplash. Let's just use this one as an example. And you can also uh, format them. So you could make these smaller. Um, you could say, um, you could add in text. So this is me on the beach. And we could drag this to the side of this image. And now they will appear next to each other. You can add captions to images. This is in, um, let's say, uh, Hawaii and um, yeah pretty much just how you would use images on any other text editing platform. Now what you actually can do on other platforms is embed content through integrations. For example you can embed tweets directly into your Notion pages and then they will be printed out that way for example if you embed it in a PDF um, which is harder to do on other platforms. Uh, so let's check it out. We just add in a tweet and now you just enter in the link to the tweet. I have one prepared, click on embed tweet. And now you see this is actually just embedded. And this would also print out if we wanted to uh, export this as a PDF, for example. The same thing also works for other platforms like Figma, for example. You can embed designs into uh, your, your articles and then also into your uh, printouts. Um, so let me show you how this works as well. Just paste in a link. I'll have to grab one real quick. Right now, back with the link and uh, I'll just paste it in here. Oops, uh, I want to paste it in here actually. And then I'll just click on embed and now we'll see, uh, we can also like drag this to full size and you see that I have this Figma design which I created in here. Uh, you can like move around and so on. And you could also just choose one of the designs and then this will also show up in your article. The last feature that I actually want to uh, cover is a great feature in my opinion. I haven't uh, used it yet, but I think there's some great use cases for it. And this is uh, just adding in checkboxes. So for example, if you want to create a quiz uh, at the end of your article or you're preparing like some schoolwork, you're a teacher, for example, then you can add in these uh, checkboxes to actually create a quiz, for example, for your students. And um, yeah, this is pretty, pretty easy as well to do. Uh, you can just like uh, have a question and then some answers and, and so on. You get the idea. I think it's a great feature in Notion and um, I'm sure that some people will find it quite useful. All right, one last option that I want to cover is the ability to change up the font. Uh, so you can use this serif font as well. You can use the mono font. Um, I like to stick to the default font, but again, the, this is just an option that's available to you. So you might as well check it out if you're interested. And uh, now let's cover the export. Now you can export your Notion content in a couple of different formats. You can export as a PDF, as HTML, and as Markdown and CSV. And you can also um, say you want to include sub pages. Usually you wouldn't, but um, yeah, mostly you would probably use the PDF format and then um, just print it out as an A4 or like save it to your computer as an A4 format. 
Um, this works fine mostly. Sometimes you might have to use uh, functionality from uh, Words or from Google Sheets. Uh, so in these cases, I would just recommend you actually copy paste your article into uh, the corresponding software. And it usually works out quite well. You might need to do some adjustments, uh, but all in all, uh, it does work pretty well. And um, I f personally prefer having Notion as my text editing software. And then uh, if I have to, then uh, copy pasting it into a different tool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're considering switching from uh, Google Docs or from Microsoft Words uh, to using Notion as your primary tool. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love if you left a like for the video. Also, you can always leave comments if you have any questions and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want more of this type of content. Other than that, um, I hope I'll see you in the next video. Uh, so yeah, take care, bye.